The universe will send me a sign. Well, let me tell you, if it's any of the signs that these halfwits that I'm about to share with you have put together, you are in a whole world of trouble because that's the topic of today. Look, I know the posters, signs, announcements, whatever it might be, is not the most exciting part of business. They serve a purpose for sure, you know, and announcing something that's coming up, giving people an update on certain things, you know, reminding people of certain rules, etc, etc. They are not going to set the world on fire. However, these next examples are actual notices and posters that people have hung in their place of work and in some sort of twisted sense, genuinely seems to be under the impression this was going to serve a positive role for their business. And look, they are some of the stupidest things I've ever come across. I know I use that word a lot in this channel. It's probably a word I should try and cut out of my vocabulary. But you do sometimes read some of these things and you just say, there's just no other word for it. People are just going to look at that and quit. Firstly, it's impressive just how discriminatory that is. If you're going to be clever, at least be right. You can't cap bathroom times. We're going to start off with Mayhem. And I know he's called Mayhem because he actually names and signs this with himself in the third person, which to my mind is an immediate red flag of anyone in any part of life whatsoever and basically it's a rules of the practice of where he works and how he people expect his team to interact with him and honestly i just like it's basically a confession letter to how much of an idiot you are because and i know that sounds harsh but let me show you this now and i'm going to pick out some of my favorite themes from this particular one and the first one is straight away number one trust no one number two trust no one you can just sense how clever he thought he was by writing that and from my mind it's it's not a great start. It doesn't get any better. In fact, it gets marginally worse. So I guess in that sense, it is a better start than it finishes. But overall, that is just a little bit of an asshole thing to do. And the second thing is that comes across is just how little he trusts his team in any sense of the word, which is it's just never going to go well for you if you think that. And if you don't think I'm onto something here, check out number seven. Thinking hurts the team. Imagine just a boss. And you've got a team you think, right, well, the worst thing they can do right now is think. I just don't understand. And like it, the other theme of this that I sort of have to pick up on is it's hard not to look at this and think he's incredibly pro-sexual harassment. Because when you line up number five, don't take no for an answer, alongside 14, can't get it if you don't ask for it, it's hard not to view in the context of everything else that he's laid out that this person is an absolute shocker to work for and the final part of this the fact that he signs himself off as like making mayhan's life easier than actual rule is a terrifying prospect and then to obnoxiously put go team with an exclamation mark at the very end is just incredibly frustrating actually if i'm being honest so i mean all i can say is if anyone out there who works for mayhan i just can only apologize and i really really hope you're okay as so the next one is one of my old videos and this post i mean look if anyone can actually think of a reason why he thought this would be a helpful thing to have in his place of work please let me know because i've honestly been racking my brains and i've got absolutely nothing attention all star when you're not working you must be reachable via your cell phone. So cell phones, or we're heading to the States here. If you cannot be reached to accept the voluntary mandatory shift coverage of a co-worker who was called in, it's not sounding that voluntary at the moment, you'll be written up. Two or more write-ups and you'll be eligible for termination. Remember to ask yourself, how can I best serve the company? When you're thinking about not answering your phone whilst on your day off or on your vacation. Go team. I mean, to be honest, I could have tied to this video the worst uses of the phrase go team ever. But I mean, look, if you're going to write something that obnoxious, don't put it in writing in that sort of sense. Like, people are just going to look at that and quit. They actually, I'm not like just being facetious there. No one's going to look at that and go, yeah, he's got our backs. Like, this is going to be a really great place to work. And also, you're just breaking so many rules that you ha if you want people to be on call, you have to pay them. That's actually a thing. You can't just sort of say, oh, yeah, uh, you know, all that time where I'm not paying you, I need you to be ready to it's just it just does my head in all that sort of stuff it's just it's the stupidity i think a lot of it I and mean, obviously you sort of look at that and go this person's an awful human being but it's the stupidity of one he's actually in charge of people which is vaguely terrifying but two just that the idea that he thought that was a good move it just terrifies me it really really does this next one's a jekyll and hyde because i've got absolutely no idea what is going on because what he writes is awful and yet some of it's delightful and the whole sort of design element confuses the hell out of me and i know i've set that up so i'm just gonna have to show you sadly due to government handouts no one wants to work anymore therefore we are short staffed please be patient and kind with the staff that did choose to come to work 
work today and remember to tip your server. They choose to serve up to serve you. Have a wonderful day. And so look, it starts in the most cliched of government handouts, bloody blah, blah, no one wants to work. And, you know, you can always just picture instantly the person in your mind who actually would be saying something like this. But there's two things I want to pick out on that, which kind of avoids the sort of complete cliche title. The subset first bit is how delightful the second half of the message is, you know, encouraging people to be nice and all that sort of thing. The third part is there's way too many colours and the design element is way too much for someone who has these points of view. Do, do you know what I, do you see what I mean? Like the person person who says, you know, who rants about no one wants to work and everyone just wants to be a benefit scrounge and all that sort of thing. The person who thinks that and writes that and says that doesn't have a purple pen and certainly doesn't have a sort of, oh, we'll do this bit in green, we'll do this bit. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is a block aerial font kind of person. Um, and so I'm, I'd be fascinated in this. Maybe someone else wrote the second half, maybe. Um, but I'd love to hear thoughts on that. But this one, yeah, I couldn't get my head around it. I found it absolutely fascinating. I mean, awful, don't get me wrong, but fascinating at the same time. And the next one is, I mean, look, this is, this is the biggest soul of the lot, right? I mean, in a lot of ways. The person who wrote this, it's the hypocrisy of this. And I'm going to explain why I think he's such a hypocrite. But basically, someone hilariously is pinned, pinned, right? This is how pleased with himself he is. It wasn't even like a sort of form he sort of sent round. The Hertz feeling report. And you got the date and the type, and it sort of says which ear was the words that hurt your feelings go in, all that sort of thing. And basically, it's got the reasons for filing this report and checkbox. I am thin-skinned. I am a pussy. I have woman-like hormones. I am a queer. I am a little... I don't know what that is, blanked out. I, but we can probably guess. I'm a crybaby. I want my mummy. My butt is easily hurt. All of the above. I mean, firstly, it's impressive just how discriminatory that is. You know, managed to sort of really tick the DNI boxes out of the people you're just being awful to. Secondly, the reason why I think this is such a hypocrite is like, I just know, in my experience, anyone who writes something like this is always the person whose feelings get hurt the quickest. They're the most thin skin. They just lose their over the slightest provocation. They can't take a joke. They can't take a sarcasm their entire personality is built into this huge fake pride sort of thing where it's hiding the biggest insecurities you will ever see and that's what i dislike about it because those people like look we all have our insecurities right but the people who sort of own them are much more well adapted human beings the people who sort of hide them and then just lash out and try and cause as much hurt and pain as possible elsewhere they're just awful people and this i just the fact he's designed this i mean i just so many parts of this like really really bugs me actually because oh this part i just know everything you need to know about this person i really really do i've met lots of them in my time sadly and the next one look the most insulting part of this next one is this fact it's ingrained in metal as though like this is something you know like it, this is something that's worth prosperity like we're not going to waste this on paper this is too good we're going to really make sure this time lasts the test of time and it says look company policy sick days we no longer accept a doctor's note as proof of sickness if you're able to go to the doctor you are able to come to work which look we are all unbelievably obnoxious, I think. Personal days, each employee will receive 104 personal days a year. Amazing. But they are called Saturday and Sunday. Very good. Very clever. I appreciate this is a joke, but you know, you just know the type of person who thinks this is brilliant. Vacation days. All employees will take their vacation at the same time every year. That's not allowed to do. Vacation days are as following. January the 1st, Memorial Day. July the 4th, Labor Day. December 25th. I mean, what I dislike about that so annoying, like, is he's actually missed out some of the other compulsory... Bo- do you mean, if you're going to be clever, at least be right. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, if you're going to do something like this, at least be right. The fact you've missed out other holidays is just quite frustrating. But the fact you mentioned Memorial Day means we are sadly in the US once again. So shout out to my US followers. And then the final one is just, it's, look, for me... For me, management, right, it's about prioritization. I think that's one of the sort of big things I always talk about. It's saying, look, this is I'm in charge of this team. I'm in charge of this business. We have certain goals, all of that sort of thing. Like, where is my time best deployed? Where is my time, like, as the manager, as the person in charge, where is my value add? That's one of the best pieces of advice I can give you as a manager. Where is my time best served for improving the team, improving the business, improving the revenue, etc.? Now, this next, I don't know anything about this business. I don't know anything about this person, but I can tell you with one thousand percent of the time he spent doing this 
couldn't have been wasted more. And it's this. He's actually printed out, he's designed it out. That's what bugged me the most about it. But he's printed out a sign that says, this is not a bedroom, three minutes per user, no cell phone allowed. So again, cell phone, sorry, US, we're back, we're back with you, America. But like, look, you can't cap bathroom times. And you certainly can't, look, the fact he's done this suggests he's monitoring, right? So he's literally spending part of his time, part of his day, tracking and timing how long people are going to the bathroom. I mean, it's just, look, firstly, one, that's pathetic. Two, completely unhelpful. And three, this is going to cause more issues with your team, right? If you think people are going to respect you or want to work hard for you and all that sort of thing, treating them like children and how long they've gone to the toilet is not going to help your case in any sense of the word. So I just don't understand what you are playing at and why you're being such a pillow because there's just no scenario that works. And so those are the top five that I found. But I would love to, as ever, I would love to hear. Like, please do let me know if there are any topics, comments, etc. I do read them all. So please do let me know if there's anything else that you would like me to cover. Because I do enjoy making these videos. But I do want to make sure they serve a purpose for you as well. So if there's anything else that I can cover, please do let me know. Please do give that like and subscribe. It actually makes a big difference. Um, but otherwise, I mean, what a lineup really was. These ones, I mean, it's just an absolute shocker.